Alright, I'm in the tier 6 Hellcat. This is on Malinoka. Looks Let's like we have a 54% chance uh, to win uh, this one. Uh, and because nothing is going to happen very quickly here, I'm going to speed up the very first part of this until I get into position. What's the point in just sitting here watching the Hellcat drive up the hill here and wait for something to show up? Drive up over here and rock, knock the tree down, get in the bushes, and then just sit and wait. I got a VK3601 coming up finally to help out over here. Looks like our OI EXP and our BDR G1B. I decided to sit it out at the base. And I'm going to go send it back down to regular speed now. Our uh, Lux is uh, whining already that he went out and spotted everything and nobody's shooting at what he's spotting at. So hopefully something will show up on the hill here. Uh, there's their locks. Target acquired. I, I don't know what the uh, thing is in the replays now that repeats the chat. Um, and also on auto aim it locks my uh, reticle on the screen somewhere. It doesn't actually show where I'm aiming at. I haven't had that uh, uh, problem before, but ever since uh, 9.14. It's been doing that on the replay. So there's our IEXP. Get a nice shot the hill. Pretty sure that'll make him change his mind about pushing up over there. Show the side of his tank to uh, uh, tank destroyers and other stuff down the hill there. We're down two tanks already. And there's a Chinu up on the hill. Nice thing about the Chinu uh, for people shooting it, <laughs> it's a tall tank. So very hard for Chi Nu to actually play the ridge line. So there he is, shot into his turret. Just not a good tank to try to uh, crest over the top of a hill. Even though it probably does have good gun depression, it's such a tall tank. I'm trying to aim on that T-34, but it died before I could think down. Which is okay with me. She knew the little top of his tank's hanging up again, but M4 is going to push up. And bye bye M4. So the 3601 is doing a, a great job of uh, holding the back. And every time they try to uh, pop up over the top of that uh, ridge, I get a shot into him, uh, or miss. <laughs> so with the jacks, and unfortunately I miss. There's that Chi knew again, turret shot. Yes, that's him with five hit points. Poor Chinu, he just can't get up there and peek over the ridge without getting that turret hit. Well, we had pulled it back a little bit, but now we're down two tanks again. 3601 is repositioning. Looks like our heavies that were camping at the base have died. There's a Jackson. Enemy armor is damaged. And one too much and he's dead. Now, what I'm seeing here is that all of our tanks are in a little line up here on the E-line and there's nothing back at the base so I'm, I'm heading back to the base because I see a TOG trying to sneak into the base. This bad news when a TOG can just drive in the open and drive into your base. So I'm going to use some of the speed for the Hellcat reposition. Hellcat still has very good forward uh, speed. It just got nerfed on its uh, turret traverse and its uh, backup speed. Not a peak and poke tank anymore. But it still has a great uh, view range and good camo. So I'm going to try to use that by coming up on this uh, 
crash to the hill, hide in the bushes, and see what I can see. This entire game seems like we've been behind. We're only behind by one tank right now, but we well, just never have seemed to be ahead at any point in this game. There's the Tog, the XP Pinata. And I didn't even scratch him. I was going to take a blind shot, he appeared right when I pulled the trigger. Now, even though I'm aimed on the Tog, it's that bug that just looks like I'm pointing over to the left side of it. There's kill number two. There's a Stug, GG. He dies. So the, the team responded pretty well to come back here and knock down that sneaky tog. It's trying to come in through the back door over here. So I'm going to stick in the bushes, see if anything else is going to pop up. They've got some very deadly tanks. That SU-100Y with a 132 millimeter gun. I hate being hit by that. Still have a couple of arties too that uh, are very deadly for the Hellcat. Since all of our team is over to the right side of the map, or the uh, east side of the map, I want to head over to the west side of the map. Just in case anybody else is trying to sneak down the uh, lake side or river side there. Trying to stay at the back of the map and use the view range on the Hellcat. And uh, <laughs> the surprise here is, I think, you know, I'm just going to go drive down that road and, oh, hey! <laughs> There's the issue, wonder why. So I get a shot into him. He's trying to go forward. And there's that agonizing slow backup speed of the Hellcat. Can I actually turn around before the issue one hundred Y gets turned around? And get a shot into him. And there is no stopping him backing up anymore. Oh, I got the shot off. I didn't notice that tank in the bushes there, that carcass of the stuff PG. I had planned to drive out there and go around. Uh, but dead tank out in the way. So that's three kills, and there are four tanks left. Now we're finally up uh, one. Oh, and the Dicker Max tells me, good job, Hellcat. Always nice to have friendly people that give you some positive feedback. So what I want to do here is disappear. Uh, these tanks knew where I was the last time. So I'm going to circle to the back, just get that view range out, get some speed up, and to do again what I was doing earlier when that SU 100 Y just popped out of the bushes over here. So I'm going to try to drive down the water side here, use some speed, and hopefully not get shot uh, while I'm in the open. And there's a Crusader. And I'm going to get low. And there's my reticle locked somewhere on the map behind me. The one shot the Artie, the Crusader, fires and misses, ramming speed. And it's kill number five, so I need one more for Top Gun. Where is he? There he is. Stop the pain. And there's my top gun. As always, thanks for watching. Alright, looking at the after action report that was an ace mastery. I received uh, fire for effect, high caliber, tank sniper, and top gun. Uh, looking at the team score, number one in damage with 2,484. Six kills, 1,167 base XP. And looking at the detailed report, I fired 16 shots, 14 hit, 13 pin. Total damage 2,484. 
1,372 from a distance of more than 300 meters. I received one hit, one non-pin. Damage blocked by armor 50. Uh, enemy vehicles, I uh, shot 9 and uh, destroyed 6. Damage due to my assistance, 735, 3.23 kilometers traveled. I received uh, with premium 41,550 silver and after repair and uh, resupplying ammunition a profit of 36,415. Uh, my base XP with premium was 1,750. It was a times 5 weekend game. So total XP of 8,755 XP, 435 free XP. Uh, total uh, battle time 10 minutes and 29 seconds. As always, I appreciate any feedback or comments on the video, and thanks for watching.